and welcome back to my channel. My name is Dottie and in this video we are going to prepare for a road trip to Arizona. Now it's not going to be like a vacation road trip, it's just going to be a work type of road trip. My fiance picked up this gig where he's going to have to drive a huge U-Haul truck to Arizona. I'm going to be following behind him and then on Sunday we're going to be driving back together back to California. Now the only thing is is that I don't know where we're going to sleep because it's kind of like a spontaneous thing that it's like, hey, you want to come with me? And I was like, hell yeah, I want to go because it's the end of March and I have not done anything this month versus in February, I went to Idaho and I went to Nashville. And you can check out those videos on my channel if you're interested in seeing what I got up to in those states. So. I gotta prep my car, I'm gonna prep us some lunch, I'm gonna uh, take my refrigerator so that the lunch that I make uh, for tomorrow can stay cool. I'm not sure where we're gonna sleep, we might be able, we might need to sleep in the car, so I'm gonna get my car ready to sleep in the car for sun uh, Saturday night before we drive back on Sunday. So anyways, time is running out, I gotta get started, let's go.
wasn't able to record everything because there was a lot that I had to do. So we'll just start where, what I've done so far. So I have packed uh, uh, my PJs, some clothes, underwear, socks. I got, this is my sleeping eye mask and ear plugs. I got uh, my toothbrush and toothpaste and face wash and a charger and glasses cleaner. I also have my iPad so that we can watch something before we go to bed. And this bag is a bunch of snacks. I got uh, some hot Cheetos, some popcorn. This is for my breakfast on Sunday morning. A few of these Ritz crackers, sandwiches and some of these uh, fruit snacks. So that's that. I'm gonna put that in the car tomorrow morning. So, and I also got the car ready for car camping. So I'll show you what I did there and the idea of how we're going to spend the night in the car. Okay, so I don't have any I don't have any car window covers but I have these bungee cords that I hooked up and then I put a microfiber towel on here to cover the window and then I got this blanket this is Odie's blanket it's clean I put another bungee cord up here and just draped over the blanket and then the other side is the same thing with the towel, microfiber towel, as a little window cover. But the only window cover I don't have is for the back window. So I have nothing to hook up the bungee cords like I could on these sides. So yeah, that's just, that's just gonna be open. This is our bed. We'll be able to lay down like this. Plenty of room. This is my view. I have this mesh. This is always in my car for carrying stuff. I'll probably put um, maybe my clothes in here or snacks or I don't know, something easy to grab that's not too heavy in here and this is like a topper mattress uh, like what is that two or three inches thick but it's very nice and soft and yeah this is how we're going to be sleeping in the car on saturday night i also downloaded i overlander because i watch a lot of van lifers and people that live in their car so they use iOverlander, so I downloaded that app so that we could find places um, to sleep for the just the night and then we're gonna take off in the morning back to California, so. <sighs> it is hot in this car right now. There's no windows open. Gonna have to take these covers down before I start driving, of course. This is, just wanted to show you what it looks like nice huh oh yeah and then I'm gonna have the cooler somewhere uh, maybe in the front seat if it fits I'm not sure if it fits in the front seat but if it fits in the front seat then I'm gonna put it there and then I also brought um, a little camp table I have two camp tables they're stacked on top of each other and then I also you see that orange thing those are cups and bowls and utensils um, the bowl for my cereal and then the plates there's also like a like a bigger kind of bowl it's like a plate but it's like a bowl <laughs> if that makes any sense and that's for our when we eat our salmon pico de gallo tacos and then I brought my camp stove and then behind here underneath the seat is a camp griddle and I'm going to take some tortillas for the salmon tacos. If it looks like 
an area where I can pull out my camp stove that I'm going to warm us up um, the tortillas so that we don't have them cold. And then uh, this is just always in my car. And this I, I moved this one. This is a trash can. It was originally here, right here, but um, I had to put the seats down and this was in the way. So that's a trash can and this is some tissues. Got some napkins here. I'm excited for this little trip. It's not, we're not even doing anything. We're just gonna go drive, drop off a truck, spend the night in the car, and then in the morning come right back to California. Yeah, probably check in with you tomorrow, probably. See you then. Hi everyone, it is now the next day. It is 9.30 in the morning and it is pouring rain outside. I loaded up my fridge with my uncle's help. I got some salmon pico de gallo tacos, some milk and two Lunchables in there to keep cool and it's plugged into my car. And uh, my fiance has my Jackery so when I'm not using the car is going to be plugged into the Jackery. All right, so I gotta get headed down to the valley, meet the fiance and start heading to Arizona. So, peace. This is lunch, well kind of like dinner slash lunch, but still light out. But I was going to warm up some tortillas, but we're in a Chevron gas station and I feel kind of weird. <laughs> and it's also kind of windy, so I'm just gonna have my salmon and pico de gallo just like this mixed together in a bowl. And then we're gonna drive the rest of the way. We have about like three hours left until we get there. Oh, there's a fly in here. I never make enough pico de gallo. I need to bring two of these filled with pico de gallo. I'm almost done with it. And I still got quite a bit of salmon left. So I missed filming it, but we are now in Arizona. The state line was back at the Colorado River. So now we have about two and a half, three hours left to go. We're going to Scottsdale, Arizona, and it's right next to Phoenix, Arizona. So this will be my second time driving to Arizona. The first time that I drove to Arizona, I drove by myself and I went to go visit my friend Kevin um, and we had known each other online only through Xbox Live and 
We were friends for quite a few years, and then he invited me to go to the Arizona Comic Con, and I went, and I drove by myself, and I stayed at his place, and he was very kind to let me have his bedroom. <laughs> Such a sweet guy. I haven't spoken to him for quite a while now. I hope you're doing okay, Kevin, if you're watching this video. So yeah, this is going to be my second time driving to Arizona, Phoenix, Arizona. Well, Scottsdale this time, but yeah. So we just stopped in Blythe, California, just before the Arizona state line. And we filled up on gas, and then we ate some of the salmon and pico de gallo that I had. Uh, made yesterday for today so we ate that and now now I'm more awake <laughs> whereas like before we had stopped we had driven five hours straight from Simi Valley to Blythe California five hours straight and I was like dying at three and a half <laughs> I also <laughs> <laughs> didn't get very good sleep last night. I got five hours and nine minutes of sleep And I know that because I have a Fitbit and it tracks my sleep and it gave me a sleep score of 58 out of a hundred so if you were to put a grade to that that is an F So I also didn't get good sleep last night because I went to a campus gamers and sociology club event called Casino Night, their, I think their first Casino Night, and it was a blast. Uh, and, sorry, these clubs, they're at the university that I graduated from. Um, I got my bachelor's degree there and my master's degree. I was involved in all the five clubs. I was involved in SLAC, which is the Student Life Advancement Committee. It was a volunteer position, and I was also the uh, student life assistant. And prior to being the student life assistant, I was the, I forgot what the name was, but it was in IT. And then um, one year I held uh, the president position for Campus Gamers. So anyway, they did a, a joint event, Campus Gamers and Sociology Club called Casino Night. And I did film that and I, it will come out after this video after I edit this video. That was a really fun night. And I, we, the event, I didn't leave there until like almost 10 p.m. Yeah, so check out that video sometime after this video. I don't know when it's gonna get posted. I have a, currently I have a long, long ass list of videos that I need to edit and post. And I, I I'm going at a snail's pace, I know, but, it is what it is. That is my pace. That is what I can handle right now. to sleep just for the night I'm not really sure where I downloaded iOverlander I think I mentioned that yesterday I hope the iOverlander app helps I'm so tired can you tell I'm running off of five hours of sleep at a 58 sleep score 
not a good score. Man, Babes is going 75, almost 80 miles an hour. This is like the fastest he's gone. He's, the entire trip so far, he's really only gone max 70 miles per hour. But man, he's going 75, almost 80. Oh, we're reaching 80 right now. He's going fast. He wants to get there like now. <laughs> I don't blame him. <laughs> All our neighbors are gone. <laughs> Except for the truckers. some cereal. Hopefully it doesn't fall. <laughs> I haven't even, this is the first time looking at myself because the bathroom doesn't have any mirrors. I, I don't know why, but 
I wish the bathrooms had mirrors. My hair is crazy. So I wanted to show you the bathrooms here because it reminded me of my bathroom dreams. And if you know me, I love to talk about dreams. Anyways, the walls here are short and the doors are even shorter. Now, they aren't as dramatic as my bathroom dreams, but they are very similar. Like, look how easily a short person such as myself can see over the bathroom walls. Does anyone else have bathroom dreams? I'd love to know how yours behave. <laughs> that like button and subscribe if you want to watch more of my upcoming vlogs. Thanks so much and take care.